Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. How are you? Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> welcome to my channel. How are you? Ah, oh, hey. Um, we're gonna do your reading. So I'm a reader of the future. The past is irrelevant. Demand for the future. Hashtag. Okay. Am I doing my job if I don't see the future for you? Something that doesn't resonate. Or you just want to keep repeating inside your head the trauma. One year, two years, three years of I made your readings. It's all the same. Let's get on with it. Am I really a reader if I don't see the future? Exactly. So, I'll show you the future. Okay. The future of your ex is doomed. Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sal. I like the future now. No, it's not. Scorpios are lovable. Oh. Remember, you're someone else's ex. What if they're cross-watcher? <laughs> Open this grand crystal. Let the future come in. Moon. Something about the moon. What's the next full moon? I don't know when and I don't know where it's going. But maybe do some, some sort of ritual during the full moon. Not like you ever miss a ritual during the full moon. <laughs> maybe you're connected with a Cancerian. Mm -hmm. How is that working? I'm seeing here that... Mm -hmm, Someone's gonna buy a lot of shoes. And we're talking about splurging. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. It's my first time in a store and I haven't been a while. So, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Okay. If anything, I taught you, right? Black shoes for Saturn, um, which I've seen at work. I heard it from someone and I tried it myself. Brown shoes for Rahu. So, if you wanna work on relationships, start wearing, wearing brown shoes. Okay. <laughs> yes, it does bring. And Rahu is in the seventh house. So, if you wanna. Work on a relationship or probably attract someone. Brown shoes. I'm not sure if brown or nude sal. Brown, they say. <laughs> okay. Because it's hard to it's hard to wear brown shoes. Not only is it a boots. Okay. It will be boot season soon. Okay. Yeah, I've been seeing boots a lot. And I think I saw it in another reading. Okay. So I'm seeing also like someone is indulging in ice cream. Lay low on the sweets. Okay. You're not the Disney character. Lilo. Soon you're gonna be in stitches. Okay. Here we go. <gasps> Hi, Kariko. I see the future is bright, Scorpio. Wheel of Fortune. More money. <laughs> Sal, I like the future already. Of course you like the future. See, when we're talking about the future, it's bright. You wanna talk about the past, it's dark. <laughs> so, would you see darkness or the future? Future Sal. Hep, hep. Scorpio. Hep, hep. Scorpio. One more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Money knocks on your door. Okay. How do you receive this? How do we attract more abundance? This is what Scorpio wants to know. Okay. Oh, well, then we teach. The crying crystal wants to teach for the Scorpio. How do we attract? Well, one, we got to detach. Okay, dead, Scorpio. <laughs> it's about detachment. And you know you're triggered by that word because you're attached always. You have a sense of control, obsession. So hard to detach. Well, that's why it's a challenge to get the abundance because if it's easy, then everybody has it. You know, in your particular zodiac, you can do it. Okay. The more you release, no pun intended, the more you get drained, the more you let go, the more you can absorb. Mm -hmm. Think of yourself like a sponge for money. Squeeze it out. Don't give it to someone, but the energy. Work hard. Burn yourself like Mars and then watch your dreams. Only Mars can make your dreams come true. Jupiter gives you opportunity. Saturn guarantees what you're going to get. But Mars, Mangal, okay, can give you the wish that you always wanted. Exactly. So look where your Mars is uh, in your chart. Okay, Mars in the first house. Unbeatable. You know, they say it's magic if, you're, um, if your Ascendant Lord is in the first house. Hopefully nothing is together with it, right? Um, then Mars in second house. Maybe not so good. Okay. <laughs> because we want people to support us in the second house. Mars is not supportive. You always have fights with other people. Mars in the third house. Good for courage. We love that, you know, because... Then what you think, you know, like you're going to go for it. Good. Mars in the fourth house. Not so good. Always tension in the family. Probably problem with the mom because it's the fourth house. Always getting tickets in the, you know, with your car because you're always speeding. You always go, go, go. Mars in the fifth house. Probably promiscuous. <laughs> Dating so much and just one relationship to the next one. Mars in the sixth house. Is good though, okay? Because this one, it can fight deaths and illness and enemies. I'll leave it there. 
Because it's gonna be a long read. Okay. And then I didn't tell you what's in the seventh for Mars. Okay. <laughs> for another day. Okay. Let's reserve it for another day. Mm -hmm. But money comes to you. Mm -hmm. Money comes to you. So future wise, also that's so easy to say. Well, I see like a pay increase, increase in profits. Um, um, I see like increase in demand. This is Jupiter expansion, right? So there's something that will grow, and this is uh, uh, with regards to opportunities. Luck comes your way because you are detached. You see that the tower. Mm. If you can break walls, break walls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Bring in the tower. Invite the tower in your life. I like the tower. Because if you're stuck, you need a tower. So if you're going in a constant cycle where let's just say job, career, it's a constant cycle, right? So you gotta you gotta quit to break a cycle. I'm not saying you're gonna quit right now. This is makes sense to you. You break a cycle, you get to the next level. Have I told you about this secret also? Every year is the same. It's just a different date, different number, but it's the same. Check what you were doing last year. You know, well, nothing. Exactly, right? <laughs> Same thing again. Okay, but it's about breaking off cycle, breaking off a pattern. Once you get out of a pattern, that's the only way that you can increase abundance and wealth into your life. You got me? Mm -hmm. Let me explain. Okay, two, three, four years ago, how do you manage your money? Same cell. You know, I keep spending, and then this. So it's a cycle, right? So you gotta break it. Mm -hmm. You didn't invest it. You didn't put it somewhere. It's gonna grow. You rather put it into things that depreciate. Then if we talk about money, I know money like, like it's my sibling. Okay? I don't even know my sibling, but I know money. Okay, <laughs> you understand me? Okay, money has to be planted. Don't put it into a pot where the soil is not rich. You understand me? Okay, so buying things that depreciate, you're putting a seed that will never be watered. You want it wet. Mm -hmm. Thank you, so Okay. Two of Swords, okay. Mm, how's the Leo? How's the Scorpio? How's the Sag? Leo's here. Mm. So I'm seeing here, of course, um, it's not an X, but this is a struggle for you to release the X, okay? With the Two of Swords, there may be some attachment that you still have for them. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, but it's really hard for you to break the wall and then say, like, I'm done and over. You may say it, but you don't mean it, you know, deep inside. I can tell. Mm -hmm. Don't tell a lie. Wag mag deny. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now in the future, your friends are going to invite you. You're the party, uh, you know, like something about you brings out some fun. You're the wild card. If it's a group of friends, you're the one who's out of control, and they like you for that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're the one who's just like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, yes. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. So you're that kind. Um, You're also, I just have to be honest, out of all the friendships, you're the most good-looking one. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your friends. <laughs> you're just good-looking. Okay. I see it here. Like, you are premier. Okay. I see it. You do attract a lot of attention. And one of those are your friends also. <laughs> they look at you. Mm -hmm. um, lately contemplating, you're going to be exposed to a lot of meditation, a lot of practices, like, um, you know, trying to connect with your ancestors I'm seeing here. Um, I feel like you're going to let go of something that you have said yes, and it's something huge. It's a big commitment. It's work, career related or family. And you're going to say, I can't do this anymore in the future. See it here. It's good though. It's good that you're releasing that energy. It was, oh, this is good. Okay. The sun and the pool. New beginnings, right? Mm. This is like getting attention. I told you, three of cups there, getting a lot of attention. Mm. You might be invited. This is an invitation for a barbecue, a party, mini gathering, you know. Normally, this is the baby shower. That's what they say. Okay. So, for me, I invite people also. Because my baby hasn't been showering. So, I call them, do you want to shower my baby? <laughs> it's been three days. <laughs> and I don't have time, you know. I mean, I do wipes though. I, you know, just the forehead. Because it's a little oily. 
Now, the sun, I mean, if I'm doing Instagram with my baby, it can be oily face. So, <laughs> she wins the energy. <laughs> I talk a lot of nonsense here. And if you cannot jive like that, I'm sorry. I'm not your friend. Thank you. <laughs> the sun and the fool. People think I have to please them. I don't please anyone. I please myself. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy doing this. Okay. With the sun and the full card, vacation. Breaking, ah, okay, you're overworked. <laughs> so this is what you're saying. You know what? I'm not going to work like this. Ten of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. You're hustling, trying to get it. Um, but it's naturally that you're going to get it. So they're saying here, it's like, calm your TITS. Money is good. Recognition is good. Success is here. Open the crystal. Someone is going to buy a choker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy a choker. I'm seeing here. Um, I'm seeing here golden teardrops. What does that mean? I didn't say golden shower. Golden teardrops. <laughs> teardrops golden. What is it? Because mm -hmm. normally... Mm. Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. This is a gourd. Um, it's feng shui. I forgot what it's called. But it's combination though. It's also practice. Uh, um, let me get it for you guys. This. Uh, okay. See, when it's money, I have to Google really fast. <laughs> okay. It's Wulao or Hul or Hulu. The bottle gourd. Mm -hmm. Or natural calabash. is one of the most popular and powerful cures. Reverend river Feng Shui practitioner. Not only is... A trusted symbol of longevity and good health. Love that. It also brings prosperity. Love that. <laughs> and abundance and blessings. Oh, yeah. I have this. Well, I actually just got one yesterday. Mm -hmm. So it's being recommended to you. But I use it for something else. <laughs> I have one that is gifted to me. And I use it. Okay. Okay. So this, you have to put this in the E sector. Okay. It's W W U L O U. E sector. Lock and health, okay, corner, brass copper, mm -hmm. east, living room, okay, it's just, I'm just basing it in Google, so you can, you can research on your own, it's called the Calabash Gourd, okay, they're always giving you some tips and advice, okay, you know what, I'm gonna share in the extended all my feng shui stuff that I am doing then, okay, because I'm doing vasto feng shui, I just expose myself to all these different mystical, okay, because I see the golden tear drop, so that's why, okay, let me continue, Open the crystal. Okay. Um, I see someone trying to prevent you from expressing yourself. Someone wants to just like, oh well, you don't deserve that. Don't work, don't don't listen to that person. Okay, they're just a hater. You can do whatever you want in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is different. Um, I'm seeing here that you are. Oh my gosh, is it for reals? Okay. Look at this. It's like dollar sign, letter S, and it's green. It's two of pentacles. Dinero. Ni Benjamin Dinero. I think J-Lo has that song. Dinero. Dinero. I'm hearing that song. Oh, I'm doing Oracle. Compassion. Inspiration. Oh, I it repeat. I got this for Divine Feminine. Those are the same. Let me shuffle. Okay. It all repeated. The same cards. From Divine Feminine. Let me get something for you. Okay. I'm seeing arrows. Someone might probably um shooting bow and arrow or like that. Archery. I'm seeing archery. Okay. Or maybe I just pick it up randomly. Okay. Peace. Transformation. And love. I'll expand the Oracle and extended reading. So this is what we're going to be looking at also. And other lucky items that I will share, okay, that I'm doing right now also, okay? Oh, the reading is too long now. Okay, link down there in the description box below for the extended. Catch me live on Instagram and what else? Also on YouTube, I do live. Um, thank you very much for your patience with eatreadlove.me. There has been some delay in our shipping due to the craziness of what is going on. Um, it's a little bit difficult for us. We're just two people who's working. Um, you know, putting all together. So it's really me who does it, guys. Okay. So, um, yeah. So thank you very much. And watch me on Instagram because I'll be doing some crystal talk over there, different mi mi mystical and magical stuff. Okay. I'll see you, Scorpios. Bye.